Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary playthrough where I'm trying to beat the game in a blind playthrough on the highest difficulty between last episode and this episode. It was quite a bit of time. Uh, I needed to finish the Royal Rumble campaign. When this year is going to be aired, I think that's potentially almost a year after the Royal Rumble campaign has finished. So, yeah, sometimes I work well in advance of my release schedule. But anyways, we wanted to clear out. Let's uh, reconcile shortly what the uh, current situation actually looks like. So, we still have no idea when that game is actually going to end, but we wanted to build a few more of these overpowered weapons for our prime team speaking about which the prime team is currently uh, ready to get the phoenix aeronautic space in mexico done we are trading quite a bit um, on the entirety of uh, the globe we still got uh, byzantinium as a to do down here which hopefully we're going to do soon uh, and there's a new active structure right here, a Pandora Nest, which we're going to take out soon. So, and other than that, I think we've mostly, mostly done all of the research. We got triple 100% allies, that's good. We still got 75% uh, or 74% of uh, population ready, which is also good. And in terms of manufacturing, uh, we only got one Dilbat uh, left over and then we're ready, ready. Um, we do have enough resources, so technically I think what we wanted to do, my memory serves me well, is yeah, I wanted to go through all of that research. Hence, we got not only the archaeology labs, which will help us to get more um, of uh, the sweet, sweet materials but we also got some more research labs and that is exactly where today's mission is going to start because here is one research lab available now we got our prime team gosh it is actually really a while since i played i do distinctly remember though that the prime team was absolutely overpowered uh, ian here was just killing everything left and right so that's going to be fun. We still want to give him more willpower and we needed more strength uh, for him as well. Inappropriate Murphy had a bit of an encumbrance issue. So after this mission, we might be able to get that one up. Oh yeah, I remember all of these special weapons now, slowly but surely coming back. And Shattered Realm, was the second character with kind of really kill chain so we're actually going to improve on speed because if i have learned one thing in this game then it is speed is pretty much king if you do have a resetting character because you want to get to the next uh, enemy now the one thing that i haven't checked yet is to uh, does everybody here have enough ammunition answer for Murphy is yes answer for Euler is also yes so we wanted the neural pistols because those bad boys wait a second I can simply give him more strength. Yep, that's good. Wanted the neural pistols because these bad boys here are going to help us to get targets down. Fantastic. Dilly has uh, that as well. And finally, Shattered Realm has it. Uh, we did have Maddox of the Ancients, which was the small stick, and we had the bigger uh, stick on the Butcher Own. Which is the Skyf, yeah, I remember that as well. Okay, cool. Well, wish me luck. Like I said, haven't played in a while. Let's go. Good, let's go. I distinctly remember that we need a... And 
there was always like one guy down there. Yep, not different uh, this time. One, two, and three. Good. That's been taken care of. Got a couple of enemies up there. Do I... How can I... Hmm. Alright. Well. I suppose I can only capture one of you. Well, I could capture both, but... In the spirit of making that uh, reasonably easy and not needing to like uh, shift all of uh, the actions over. We are just rushing in. Okay, 32 isn't bad. Let's, by the way, throw a turret. Dilly. Seize the enemies, okay. They are pretty far back there, so no point in trying to kill them yet. Um, instead, how about moving over here. Okay, there is no enemy there, which is good. Good, that's 14 rounds, more than enough time. And Ian is moving up, which is also fine. Good. I would call that a reasonably successful first round. And inappropriate Murphy is, yeah, just taking cover here. Challenge with the A team is really, there isn't that much that is challenging them anymore. Well, the good old F you. I heard it loud and clear. No need to deny it now. Okay, so that is one of those paralyzing snipers. I don't like them. Specifically not when the enemy has them. Good, let's see. We wanted to repair. Yes, please. nice and we're going to go back um, secondly moves to here that's good hits the guy once that is good 
War Cries, which is absolutely fantastic. And then moves out of line of sight. Even better. Now I can't get through the carapace. Uh, carapace. Oh, it only has armor piercing 20. Okay, well, I know what we're going to do. That is exactly <clears throat> what this little turret is for. Getting rid of the shield. Very well. One, two, three. would really like to kill that guy so we're going to do exactly that I hate to beat around the bush good we could definitely kill the other triton as well but we might as well just capture them. Order moves up and time for some more shots. <laughs> Two and three. Good. This guy is definitely gone. Dash one. Move two. Good, and now what we're going to do is Ian is moving over here, which isn't bad. Starting to stun this guy. 37 looks like a steep hill to climb. But with all of uh, the... Uh, mm, Reduction from War Cry. It's not that bad. Matter of fact, we even got it. Completely paralyzed. Good, I think we're continuing to just stay here. Bit of a shielding, and uh, that's the end of the turn. Looks like we got three more enemies to go. Okay, another Triton. Well, that's fine. Die. 
One, two, three. One. Moves away. Two. Yep, and now he does have a problem. Because guess what? All we need to do is move up and take a couple of shots. Good. We're using some quick aim. Very good. If that guy is up here... We can already move in slightly, but I don't want to overstretch uh, it. We don't know where the rest is yet. Polly moves up. making sure everybody here is well sedated so that looks good on all fronts only thing that is missing is oiler moving forward and we're getting exactly that moves up Seems to be a melee attacker, potentially an Ar Arthur's, yep. to here move to there okay drinks has enough for a dash And one time handing over action points. Shadowrun moves up and yeah. Solves the problem. Like I said, we want a reasonable uh, capture. Not trying to like capture under any circumstance. I, I, I think we still had six or seven captures. These infested bases are good and for me the whole capturing is just a nice little extra uh, mm, uh, extra resource grab where we get the mutinies. Yeah, I got a sniper rifle and one, two, three, four, five, six, like I said. Cool, replenish all, fantastic. Uh, we definitely want to repair the that facility. 
Not sure about the access lift, but the vehicle bay definitely makes sense. And whilst we're here, let's get a satellite uplink and the mystery repeller. Uh, and that base, by the way, is called Mexico. There you go. Fantastic. What we want to do with our main team is get back to here. Because Newfoundland will soon be under attack. But uh, my, I think we have already played that once, but I might be mistaken. Like I said, it has been a while. Almost sure that they had tried to attack, but then it didn't work out. Something along those lines. Mandicore 8, fully healed and, uh, and rested, which is fine. Okay, I get big deja vus uh, whether or not this here had already been played, but I don't have a, uh, a save game. Literally, like, continue brought me to the state that I found the game in. Given that we're only 17 minutes in because it was such a short mission, might as well do this Pandaria Nest. The only reason why I want to do them right away is it seems as if the sooner you are doing them, the better, because there are no uh, terror missions, you are uh, simply killing uh, the stupid Pandorans off right off the bat. What I noticed though is I definitely did underestimate uh, the just the amount of um, of virus contamination. In my in my experience on my mind, I didn't remember that level of taint all over the floor, which is crazy. But it is a good wake up call. So really, uh, one of the other things that we could do is get more get more bases set up. I know that I had another plan. I think it was around here ish. Yeah, there is the other research lab. So that would be the next base. This is already going. Down here wouldn't be bad either. I mean, could uh, could expand. I know I wanted uh, that cluster here to be freed up. So unfortunately, the only way of doing it would be via Phoenix Charlie. And wow, yeah, that's. That's a long way until uh, the Mist Repeller will get all of that done. I mean, look at a couple of bases that we've gotten a while ago, right? So, let's say the South America, that is potentially 30 hours ago. And so 30 hours of game time, that is. And they are growing really small. Anyways, so let's do the deployment and see what we're up against uh, that is team oh i've completely forgotten i think it's team number three pretty sure it is i've definitely forgotten all of the cool stuff that i wanted to do we had Stephen foreign here yes we wanted that immunity is great We'll keep it. And this guy had a good energy. I, I definitely like what I was seeing. Asian cow, which was the berserker plus uh, assault. So he's perfect for rapid clearance, but equally so. We want to give him quite a few options. Dash is so important. Return fire isn't bad either. Ready for action is good. So 
before he gets rapid clearance. There are a couple of other really good items that he gets. And I would say, given that he has enough hit points, let's just go with dash for now. Good ability. Uh, can't get an ability. Would need some more strength. Incy Vinci. Oh yeah, I remember the Sanctifier handgun. That one was a good handgun, but we are lacking the strength to carry even more. Backbiter was the guy with all of uh, the drones, the spider drones. Weak spot. We didn't want to take uh, the sniperist. I don't think we did uh, want to take that. I don't think so. Quick aim isn't bad. Isn't bad specifically since he has assault rifles. But he is lacking willpower at the moment, so the real enemy here is the lack of willpower. No point in having all of those cool features if you can't afford them. Yeah, mind control isn't bad. Could get that. I think conclusion here would be that with the exception of Anthony's silent toes who by the way has Phoenix deck assault uh, legs uh, I think everybody is fine let's give him an anti goo repellent yeah, everybody has good equipment so let's deploy the squad Good, we landed. Destroy all hatching sentinels. Okay, when we're uh, we're starting literally in the middle of everything. Okay, cool. So crazy. Moving up a couple of a couple of eggs. Good. Eggs in themselves should not be a big problem. Matter of fact, first one should immediately be killed. Shake it, baby. That, on the other hand, is a problem. Not a problem. Although Craig refuses to believe that it is a problem. More than good enough. Good, so who's the fastest one? Justin here definitely would excel at that, right? Right. Moves up. Moves further up. And moves completely up. Great, cool. What's the plan? Okay, we are continuing to move up in Civinci. It's the guy. Just wondering if uh, if some of the spawneries are on that other side. Because we're focusing a lot on one end. As I was just talking about it, of course. Game shows us, yep. Spawner is actually on the other side. Looking for an angle. Yeah. 
Good, Vanessa. Three aims, so there's one hit. And that's the kill. Good, these two take uh, that side, Let's do this. whilst the rest is jointly marching into this direction. Shot. If possible. Just abducting a couple of the enemies and then we're, I think, good to go. I mean, yes, there is the option for an overwatch, right? Just in case something is spawning there. I can make a difference. And a turn. One more spawnery at least. up okay, it's that guy once more continues to move up in Vinci is ready if need be and Justin follows triple drones Look, we killed that one. Fair enough. I kind of get vibes uh, from this here being the other spawning facility. I don't know why, but after a while... You sort of start to realize patterns in how <coughs> missions are designed. Gotta keep on pushing. Asian cow on my way moves up and then pushes into the corner which is good Vanessa moves all the way up to the front yeah we could keep that side by ourselves yes already there We're taking some Got serious shots this time. Uh, Here comes the Phoenix. I totally expect that the enemy will be charging in. Hence our overwatch. Anthony moves up. And just kicks him whilst he is down. And for good measure, uh, we don't need more overwatch, but just in case someone comes in. We're actually protecting our back. Well, look at that. Great hit. <laughs> That's one down. Very nice. We know that the Triton has moved even further. I'm here. Good reload. And we're going 
to put three more of them down. Alright, ammo break. Let's see what we can do against this prime here. More armor yeah. break. Heavily infected by a virus, uh, which by itself is already very good. One. Two. And three. Good. Could have placed down the turret. But I think that way was more efficient. And yeah, we're just overwatching. That unfortunately means we can't remote control these spiders in order to do their worst. Incivency, however, can potentially hit. Very well. That worked like a charm. Completely disabled arms, legs, everything. So I'm not expecting a lot to happen here. Still alive. But might as well Amy. finish this guy. Oh, okay. Well, we are seeing one of these reanimate uh, reanimations. Okay, so how about uh, fully moving up because typically uh, the Psyker is not very good at keeping pace with the rest. Steven equally needs to move up and I think we're even going to front line this one time. There is definitely one more spawning nest. Oh, wow. Lots of damage. No mercy. Good. Well, who would have guessed? <laughs> Heavy weapon and uh, decent accuracy actually makes a huge difference. We are speeding everyone up again. Moves up. Inside. Ah, not good. I was not hungry for the stupid return fire. But we're still okay. Aiming. Couldn't hit the enemy. Mm. 
Less okay now. Moves over here, hands over an action. And we're putting this guy really well to sleep. What now? Looks dangerous. Over we'll back. Kai moves up, and we're using a medkit for once. That was complete return fire. Good, we've got one more spider left over. Which can explore the remainder. It's either here or here. Throws turret. Action points in. Asian cow moves up slowly but surely. Good. I was hoping we would be able to break the pincer. Yeah, nothing else we can do at this point. What? Triplet reinforcements. Triplet reinforcements, but why? And please don't tell me because I can. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Already there. Just give the word. And they are a little bit far away, unfortunately. Try this again. Good, lots of damage there. Mm. I think we're just going to put a couple of drones down. 
even if that costs us yet some more resources. Um, We gotta be careful. We need to get rid of the shield without moving to coordinates. Completely killing, uh, killing the already paralyzed enemy. Very good. So that gets rid of the shield. It's time to dump the will points. Enemy still active. And Overwatch. Okay, cool. Still well, alive. that worked okay sure so far. Whatever is hiding behind him, this is a really, really poor angle. But that was a good hit. Like I said, now is a good time to dump the will points. And we aren't doing that bad. I mean, for, let's say... A sizable ambush that these guys were laying. Holding position. We got two out of uh, three immediately disabled. Gone. Oh, and I can see where the last bastion of spawning is. Okay. Comes online. One, two, three, and four. That already takes away two of his melee attacks. We could theoretically counter heal. Control is even more important. Moving up and healing. Very good. That worked out much better than expected. The reason why I didn't want to kill him is uh, he would spawn one of uh, these respawning enemies right away. And I don't want to have none of that. Next turn we're going to take that hatchling. And Sivensi moves up. And we're just protecting that other flank in case something is happening. Um, yeah, we're just overwatching. there Vanessa continues and 
and that might even end the mission. I should have captured that guy first. Ah, little mistake. But yeah, we could have captured one more alien, I suppose. I like how they were kind of ambushing us with uh, three uh, aliens from behind and we just completely melted them. Unfortunately, the spider drones are expensive. Yeah, I gotta be careful with them the next time. On the upside, we have successfully ended uh, the problems here. And I think what we can do is we can move into the middle of uh, Europe and Asia just to make sure that we can trade enough. Newfoundland will be attacked in seven hours, but we got our crew on the way, so we should be fine. 842, that's not a bad deal. Good, now it's only Byzantium that is left over. I've cleared out everything. And of course, waiting for the whole archaeology things to pop up nicely. I vaguely remember that 125 was uh, the mark that we want to hit in terms of resources. Good, four hours and...